The monster hath returned us. Hi, B. What are you doing? So let him sit on my hand. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's in! Yay! Let's go. Welcome to what is possibly the last episode of the first playthrough of the quarry. I think I'm at chapter 7, right? So it's like four chapters left? We did a whopping three chapters in the last recording. So if they're about the same length, I think I'm gonna like blast the two hours into one episode by the time this is online. You guys will probably know how long it is. Let's just go for it. Fight some werewolf booty and hope Emma comes out on top. The rest, I don't know. But Emma so far has been good. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. She looks so cool. Hey, beep. Hi. June 25th, so the next day. She's covered in blood. Is she in the general store storage thing? Oh no, this is like a cell. Baby, if you're just gonna yell at me, you're gonna have to go. Is he turning? Get in there. Fucking do it. Why is her frame rate so broken? Oh. Is he already transforming? Or the sheriff's dead? <laughs> Dude, you got him in there just in time, didn't you? I honestly think it was uh, Mr. H in the basement. And he locked himself in there. They come a day too early, so his brother has to help him out. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brinley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. I'd just be complying. I mean, how else are you going to get out of there? What do you want to know? Oh. Well, mm -hmm. uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I figured. Why, want no why pay for a motel if the lodge is that close? North Kill. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett. Mm hmm. Wait. Hackett? Like. Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? 
You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. Mm -hmm. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Sir, yes, sir. Please. Will you just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on? Is, is Max alive? Show him Max. I feel Show her like Max. I'm going crazy. What? <laughs> the little mouse. Nah, you don't have to. There's no point. You guys will be friends anyway. Yeah, so he does transfer him back. Hey, you asshole! Do you want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max, ah, Max doesn't remember. Me. Fuck. I wonder if she's gonna try and help him break out or something and then get hurt by him. Max! Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? <laughs> what? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. Mm. I mean, what the fuck happened? Mm, disappointed. I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we... Drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. Huh? <laughs> and he it gets no better. Idea. I gotta look at his name badge and... You can just keep talking. I mean, it's not like it's a secret. Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Huh. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. <laughs> All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. God, he, if only he'd shown her what happened to Max, she would have been a lot more compliant. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get the fuck off. Do you think Come he's on. really strong? Move. Good if he boy. wants to be. Hey, stop struggling. Laura. Mm -hmm. 
What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Uh, it's a it's a jail cell though. I I mean I doubt. It's Sex. usually not much in here. Really? Not a chance. Unless you jam something some in there. Sort of lever. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. That's a spoon. I thought it was like a a window handle, but that wouldn't yeah, be enough. Do it. I don't think they would put window handles on windows in jail cells. <laughs> yes. Where does it lead? You gonna stick your hand in there? Is there anything there? Watch it, man. I bruise easily. <laughs> no, you don't. Give me a break. Not anymore. The second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Hmm. <laughs> uh... <sighs> Let's put a bit of spice in there. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? What is he gonna do Fuck. with you? Pinky bonky. Pinky bonky? How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but. I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in 8th grade cab. <laughs> really though? What happened? He uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and... Where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... <laughs> why you were feeling this I morning? I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Shiny legs. So shiny. So how long do you think he's gonna keep him in there? Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? <laughs> it's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some... kind of crazy camp counselor 
kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... He's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? It feels what? a little dragged out. Well, you have to. Like, we already know what's going on with Sometimes Max. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Is the werewolf thing, is that just think one about night the rest a month? of the summer, Max. Full moon, or is and it like school? three nights? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this flea bag fuck face stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... You're gonna die. Gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! Have you been making plans, Max? What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Maybe be nice. I'm sorry, Max. This this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. Well, I should you know have you can talk so. to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just. Focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me you up. You want out, Pete? You want out too? We need to go over it from the beginning. <laughs> you went out of this jail cell? Like from when we left home? Yeah. Should I leave you out? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. Well, what he he's just didn't even a real want pop? you to get to the quarry. Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Small town? Just the one yeah, sheriff, actually. Yeah, concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing? Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something. Werewolf Hackett. And then the cop shows up. Brother Hackett. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. What's yeah, some... it really did a number on you. Like, I'm Wait, surprised it was... you're not more messed C up. See, like, like, I vividly remember and... the thing's teeth ripping into you. Tea hacking? What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... 
before we got lost. You got lost. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. Say it. What if? Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Yes, there we go. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Whoa. Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. <laughs> okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire Fictional. stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Nah, bro. Okay, you were not Werewolves. talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? Nice. She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Show me the eye. Just let me Damn finish. It. Then you can Show decide me. for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Okay. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. He's doing push-ups? Like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement. What happened to Max? We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. Two keeps working out. Dude, you're a werewolf. You're probably fine. <laughs> On the physical department. Thank God you got to take a shower, though. All that blood. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. <laughs> That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the... ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Well, if he... <sighs> okay, so... Let's say we get on his good side. What if what we tell then? him that we Wrenching think mimosas he's a werewolf? every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know, I think we could crack him. 
Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. Mmm, nice drinky. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Ugh. Sniffy nose. So annoying. So... Alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's gotta have a weak spot, like something we can use. Honestly, I would just be like, hey, not like dude, we don't have time to figure be honest it out. with me. Am I a werewolf? Yeah. Okay. See what he says. Right? Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Hmm. Why? You... You call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Nose whistling. Not anymore. Um. Really? Seven? Failure to comply. Trespassing. Dangerous driving. Breaking and entering. Resisting arrest. Endangering local wildlife. And you keep calling me names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but aside from all that. It's <laughs> oh, okay. uh, look. There's no reason why we can't change things. Why does it all have to be so ugly all the time? Oh. I see what you're doing. That's well, not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole. Hey, bestie. Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! There you go. That's what you should have said. Full moon's in a few days, right? What What then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Interesting. I said, take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get oh, back! Oh, he's changing. That's what's going on! <laughs> Seriously, just handcuff her, put her in front of the cell, and let her watch him transform. Well, maybe this would be good. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Nice. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. There you go. Ask next time, then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. Oh. What's your position? Over. H. Shit. Mm hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Yes. This is rather. Colin Phillips is literally gonna do nothing. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you, it's not going to be pretty. But don't worry, I'll be back at dawn. Oh, you're going to leave her there all night? Here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Oh, that is she. You put her pretty close. Maybe that's how she's going to lose an eye. He was trying to save the clothes. Hi. 
I would seriously back up that chair a little bit more. <laughs> Ooh, clinical. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Oh, aggressive. Max? I want, to, I want to see the big explosion into Werewolf. Max? Tell me what's going on! It's gonna happen. Ooh, the teeth. He was so quick. Wait, how did she get out of her chair? She was handcuffed to the... What? How did... Did he get her in the handcuff? Somehow? Fuck! Ooh. Nice boots. <laughs> oh yeah, so I guess we have to take this perception. music out. <laughs> so much for depth perception. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, she waited? That surprises me. I guess she wants to show that he can trust Let's her. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Or not. Oh, he hit the pipe that she was on. You're too close! Yeah! <laughs> Don't get too close. I was just gonna get a peek in. Jeez. Okay, let's not get any closer. Ugh, scared me. Hmm. I had a lot of blood. Just making sure there's no cards. Okay. Now, what do we have here? What does my one eye see? I spy with my little eye a card, chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer, taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Some cases foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think. The car! Oh shit. Um, am I hiding in the car? Maybe it's not safe. Should I go here? Seems like the way out. It is, isn't it? There's an exit sign? Okay, let's go up first. Locked. Locked? Hmm. Figures? And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Nah, you want to snoop. You haven't been out in a while. Fuck. I'm gonna need 
to rest soon. Hmm. Oh, there wasn't anything. Happy birthday. 56, mama's boy. <laughs> You're a good boy, Travis. 56. Travis. That means he was born in 1965. Is that important for something? Okay, next door. No, can't go in there? Oh, I can. The prompts are a bit weird sometimes. Doesn't show up all the time. Does no one work here anymore? Hmm, there's nothing in this room. Oh, there is. Burn Sheriff Star. Whoever was wearing this cap be doing too well. Hmm. Old sheriff's badge. Maybe the dad? Their dad might have been a sheriff too. Usually the, usually the case, right? With small towns that like a cop follows up on their dad. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. Ah, I wouldn't want to do that though. I need to lie down. He he honestly seems to be on your side. He didn't he tried to keep you away from his brother. Birthday beers. July 7th. Can you use that? Okay, back to your cell. Or leave, I guess. You could try the back door. That says exit. There's that small door there as well. Oh god. The growling so scary. Are these stairs? Oh, I couldn't see. Printer? Fax machine? What are you hiding, Travis? Bizarre Bonafide. That's the podcast that Ryan listened to. A letter instructing those behind the Bizarria Bonafide podcast to stop investigating Hackett's quarry. Oh, they were onto something. I wish I could read it, though. Why don't they let us read documents anymore? Or am I missing, like, a prompt or something? Oh, we're so close behind her. Mm. Hello? Hmm. She was like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> Is the line dead? What about the picture frame on the right? So much a hint as a slap in the face. July 7th. Fuck yeah. You heard the shit, we gotta shut down the podcast.
Chris. Weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. I missed the like part. Us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're we're more like um ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So mm -hmm. what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette. Some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. Silas. Oh, jump scare. I knew it. <laughs> that Windows 95. It's like that old, old meme jump scare where you have to go through a maze and then. <laughs> I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, oh. can't look at the picture. Missing cats, Sasha and Digby. No. Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. The hikers. Well, one is at the bottom of the lake. Hey, and Harem Scarum's there again. Okay, time to go. Time to take a big nappy. I would honestly close the cell door myself. You staying locked in is also staying, making sure something stays locked out, you know? Just saying. What's he hiding? You got any keys? Hmm. Everything locked? Well, back to the growling monster then. Feel like I've snooped enough for now. Don't be standing at the end of okay. I'm just gonna go in here. There's this though. I haven't looked at this yet. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Let's see what we got. Episode of the Supernatural Investigation Podcast, exploring the mysteries around the Hag of Hecate's Quarry. Kaylee's dead. However happy they once were, that's all changed now. Fire of Harem Scarum six years ago took the lives of many, and it's rumored to have been arson. No wonder it made the front page. Previous sheriff was killed in the fire six years ago, so presumably this belonged to him. Travis must have succeeded him. Oh, I can't wait to fill all of those out. <laughs> I'm honestly almost more excited already for the second playthrough. Just so we can focus on getting all the collectibles. Go to sleep. I've seen enough. She must be exhausted. Losing an eye. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? Um, I won't leave Max. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Still? Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Oh, I forgot to put Me the too. syringe in the wall.
Is he gonna find it? Well, oh. Ah, yeah. So you made yourself at home. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes. Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. Hmm. I wonder why. Couldn't you just give it beforehand? Maybe you need to... Oh, maybe it's like a thing of like... Their entire metabolism like resets once they transform. So you have to wait until they transform, and then you can inject them. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> Werewolves 101. Tattoo's getting itchy now. <laughs> it's happening, I can feel it. Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever. That makes sense. That's why you she know, knew how to at least tend to her eye. Just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? <laughs> uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. Yeah, what are you talking about? You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. Do you think he knows a cure? We? Yeah. So, I wanna know. how is your family involved? My family is down at the bottom of a well. What? <laughs> Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right. So Sounds like it's all about the crumble. You're the one at the top of the well with a rope and... Yes. I thought that was <laughs> obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Just forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. Ooh, what that? Puzzle? Turns out this was Who's actually this? an escape room. <laughs> He's like, you've been taking too long. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. Right. They think it's a curse from the lady, Silas's mother. It stalks your breath, Miss Palmer. But shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first, 
When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. The red eyed one. That must have been the yeah. mother load. Keep reading. Take out the very first werewolf. Don't take his gun. Take out the very first were werewolf in the line. That would undo all of the other ones then. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Okay. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. But didn't she kill one Max. in the pool? It's not as straightforward oh, as Oh, that think. could have been a different one. It could have been... Because that was Chris's kid, right? Maybe Chris's kid hadn't actually bitten anyone yet. Uh... If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not oh, so... I'm, I, I was, when I Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you. Maybe we didn't have to take off Dylan's hand then. If it was... Was it Kayla or something? If it was Chris's daughter that was on the roof of the radio shack and she bid Dylan... And then she killed Dylan... Uh, killed the Chris's daughter, then maybe he would have been cured without taking off the hand. Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, that's from hoping you'll come in. Mm. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Hmm. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Wait, what if Bishop is their dad? Seen enough? What is it? What'd she give him? Same thing or a different thing? Is it like an e-reader? <laughs> I don't know what it is. She looks badass now. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Oh, is that what he showed? Yeah. Was it like a recording of the... Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah, 
That's... You can't really control that. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. The white wolf. Mm. I think it was just the red-eyed one. Oh. What'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here, that's fucked up. I fucking bet one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Let him hear it. Be careful. It would have been a whole lot messier if I had shot him. You shot him. I'm telling mom. Don't you look starved. I'm telling mom. Max. Uh. Max. Uh. What is uh. that? <laughs> Travis was just in the hall talking. The cop. So. With Chris Hackett. Did was he, he walk here off? To let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... That's what I thought. Who would have guessed? Me. <laughs> I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. Thanks for sense. pointing it out. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then. Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I wonder if Chris was the one in the. I'm gonna get Travis's gun. In the. And kill Chris Hackett. Um... The fucking on the island, hey, the hey, treehouse. Jesus, why was Laura that so needs hard? Help. Uh, Laura, uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, God damn it! What the hell's going on, Laura? Uh, Why are you doing it? Oh, I don't like it. Don't. Oh, God. Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, but I do. Let's just talk about it. You had your chance to talk. Keys. Don't shoot him accidentally. Uh, don't hurt him. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Is she gonna lock him in the cell? Honestly, I can't believe he fell for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is gonna suck. Is he gonna- No, don't let him out. Just keep him there. I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. <sighs> Come on. Laura? <sighs> Please think about what you're doing. Yeah, I'm still on his side, honestly. You're not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. I'm 
sorry. <laughs> Can he even call for help? Is he gonna starve in there? <laughs> we should grab our staff. We need Where is our ammo. stuff? He must have some around here. You've been through this place, though. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks he... No, I, I still can. It's coming from behind that door. They can both hear it. Kick it. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Never mind. We have keys. What's in there? God, her burnt arm is gnarly. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. Good. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. He goes out for the night, hunts them on the full moon. Well, I guess he won't be needing us anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> well. Hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now... Is she not realizing that she needs home. to hunt Chris on a no full moon and that he's Tonight. gonna transform as well on a full Going moon? Hack, it's Corey. We're killing Chris Hackett. Hello? Are we not realizing this? He should not be out or not chained to anything or you're gonna put him in the in like the the basement again or something what's the plan here and i made my way here to camp left left max at the island seemed like the best place for him surrounded by that water was all. max that we let out that's it that's the story and I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Um. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. So Max didn't get off the island? That's good. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But she thought she shot Chris. Or she shot Chris's daughter. So where'd you pick up the outfit? <laughs> like, was there like a store that happened to sell you those clothes that fit perfectly with an eye patch as well <laughs> when do we get the flashback for the eye patch it would have made more sense if the cop got it for her before she broke out but it's just a minor thing obviously max
How did she get away from him? Max. Because now it's the tricky thing of like, it's a flashback, so we know she can't die. She has to make it back okay. Max? <gasps> Hello? Maxi! She just kicked him off. <laughs> Get a move on. Oh, he like fell on some rocks. Yeah, that hurts. Jump in the boat. Nice, good job. Sorry, boy. See you later. That's a good boy. You wait right there. Hmm, <laughs> cool. Beep, beep. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kay Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Well, Unless go I, check I the pool. It turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? Oh. Oh. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. If she doesn't kill... Uh... She either kills her Don't boyfriend, Max. Much time. Or... Oh, God. Or we need to find whoever is top of the line and hope it. Hope that... Oh, hello. Who are you? Is that the lady from um so this is our new Insidious? Yeah. Smell good, don't you? Go on. Take a bow. Go on. Who who is it? Dumb fucking animal. Wait, which one is this one? How'd you capture it? Oh, is that the one? Oh, yeah, Let maybe she's go. their mom. Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! Um... Dude did say that it was like a whole go. family please. business, basically. Let me ready to happen, please! Please! Oh my god, why aren't you answering me? Oh, oh, oh! Is your, is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money. Like lots of it. Are you? I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Dude, you're probably pretty safe <laughs> Just in let there. Me go, please. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. If he doesn't put you in a cage with the werewolf, then you're probably good. They're probably probably just trying to keep you safe. That's too, Bobby. Wait, who's number one? Hey! Hey! The werewolf? Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! <laughs> That's terrifying. It reminds me of, um, Until Dawn, where the dude had the Wendigos in all the cells. So, honestly, dude, unless they try and eat you, like the family, I think you're good. I wonder who this is. Which one it is. 
The one, this is the one that they caught in the trap, right? Or where, where are we looking at? Where... What? I think there was supposed to, like, maybe... Maybe if Abigail was still alive or something, maybe someone would have shown up there. Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Oh yeah, Emma was in the car. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time. Shall A we? couple of cards, didn't I? Chariot? Maybe just the chariot, huh? The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant. But in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps in some cases, I think they're this not means... as safe as we think they are. Emma needs to move, maybe. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Yes, please. You'll be seeing me a few more times mm. before the night's over. I look forward to that. As long as you follow the right path. Of These course. chapters now are suddenly so much longer. Now I'm like, should I end it here? Start of chapter 8, I'm assuming? Because what if chapter 8 is also like... Yeah, chapter 8. What if chapter 8 is also like an hour 15, like this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just keep going a tiny bit. See what happens. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, Caitlin? What do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <laughs> oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Just. Think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Hmm. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? The heck? What do you know? Just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago, and now she sort of roams the darkness, waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No. I don't know, but I heard this thing back at the police station, a, a podcast. The Zarya Bonafide? Yeah, that's it. It looks like Travis was keeping an eye on it. Why? Maybe it's more than a story. Look, all I can tell you for sure is that whatever's happening at Hackett's Quarry runs deeper than you know. I'm just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. I mean, if she really transforms, she's not gonna use so, a gun anyway. Come on. She'll just maul you to this. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. I mean, he's out there somewhere, right? Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Real mature. He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Oh, Dude! What? Spooky house, yes. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. 
Okay, any clothes are going to spray you too with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Huh. Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. I mean, it, so we don't have anything me. better to do. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. <laughs> You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Okay, so... Dylan and Caitlin will meet up with Emma then. We're going to a spooky house. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? <laughs> Have you actually been there before? I mean, n no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? <laughs> Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. Why don't you go for well, the one that killed or bit can't Chris? Find another way. Lead the way. I mean, honestly, if any of them come and attack you, you'll probably just kill them to defend yourself anyway. At least we know the one on the island now that's Max. This must be where Jacob is. There it is. is. At your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? There's probably a gate somewhere? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. <laughs> Compassionate. Look, Be a bit nicer, okay? I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. I mean, by that logic, you though. You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. If she's so hellbent to... I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Oh. She's so hellbent on killing Chris. Ooh, thank God that was water. Uh, 
because of what he did to Max. But it's like, well, Max did that to you. Like, Are you okay? why aren't you hellbent by that logic on shooting Max then? Laura? Just saying. Just keep the gears going a little bit. When you realize that. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. What? What happened? Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Oh. She's healed. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit. <laughs> Wouldn't you like touch it? In my eyes? Yep. Define yellow. Shit. We haven't got much time. Her entire eye grew back. Well, better hurry. I guess it's good that she got bitten then. <laughs> she got her eye back. These must have been from the quarry days. So it was an actual quarry. Chris and Travis. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Oh, right. So he was looking at her wound because it was just suddenly all better. Oh, that looks pretty. And then it was like, wait, what about your eye? Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag. The hag of Hackett's quarry. The hag slinging like slasher. She's warning us off. Or guiding us. Dude, you're in my way. Oh, oh shit. Jump. Oh, I thought the whole thing was coming down. Think anyone heard that? Mm -hmm. no, yes. Then. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. What's she doing? Careful. Jeez. This is really the time to be joking around like that, huh? This place just keeps going and going. Ah. The lovers. Vampires. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it, and tasting it could save someone's life. Just look at this place. Ooh, rusty steps. Tread lightly, my boy. Oh. <laughs> we got it. I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Stop being weird. Okay. She thinking about a a medium rare patty. Oh boy, this is high. I mean, we Whoa. fell pretty far. So cool. The lump of Do meat. Do you think actually something? <gasps> Is in here with us. Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. Hmm. There's a 
sign up ahead. A long way down. Cave. Cave in. Do not enter. Whoa. Where's cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. <laughs> So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So hmm. I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? And what box would that be? Nothing, forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Don't we have some Charming. killing to do? I am assuming you're single? Yeah, why? No reason. This way. I see a light. It's the only way, really. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Okay. Someone's been eating their spinach. <laughs> so, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Ladies first. <laughs> I should clarify werewolf ladies first. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but spinning a wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle eye can tell where it's going to stop. Hmm. Looks promising. Okay, I wish I had a light. Can't really see anything. Anything here? Nope. Okay. Down we go then. Is that bullets? Nope. Careful. Splinters. <laughs> Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are run running tunnels. Uh -huh. That would make that liquor almost 100 years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. Cool though. But where are we going? Isn't this a dead end? Oh. You think this is it? Nowhere uh, else to go, so. Beach me, I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Just as it was about to get good, huh? Caitlin! Oh. The lodge looks so nice. Uh, what happened here? Eh, it's complicated. <laughs> Gosh. I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds cold. But you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. <laughs> yes, Caitlin. <laughs> Weird fantasy. <laughs> um, the fancy. Whatever, I won't open up about my vibrant fantasy life anymore. 
Is that that's what's going on in your vibe and fantasy life? It's not that weird. It's pretty weird. <laughs> it's no weirder than this situation. Yeah, I guess there are comparisons that could be made. <sighs> so? I, I can't stop picturing what happened to Abby. And... Fuck. Yeah, oh. Nick is still somewhere Let's else Let's just there. get the van up and running, okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, we're gonna find Emma then. Hopefully. Wait. What? Is there... <laughs> is there something in Emma, there? what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. She didn't get bitten, right? Oh, God. What is it? Uh... Jacob? Emma? Maybe that's why the chariot isn't safe. Knock on the Should window. I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Just knock on the window. See what it is first. Knock. Ah! Oh. Oh, she makes me! She makes me! Oh. Hey, hey, it's us! Oh, oh shit. It oh, oh. I, wait. I'm wait. so sorry. Dylan, I am so, so sorry. Oh, I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared and I thought... It's not Mace. What? <laughs> Air freshener. <laughs> oh. <laughs> amazing. That's all I could find in the van. <laughs> oh, amazing. Hey, um... So... Where's Abby? Oh, she fucking dead. I just can't believe Nick would... I can't believe any of this. Yeah, I, uh... I don't think it was really Nick. She can't be gone. She can't. Well, she's gone. Yeah, come on. If you want to. It was quick. She didn't suffer. She was dead in seconds. What? What's wrong with you? Just fix the car. <laughs> the How did this all get so fucked up? I know. Fix the car. We're gonna get I'm out of here soon. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises. But if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. It sounds like a long shot. I mean, the other option is to find Jacob in the cellar. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, let's split up because that worked so well for us last time. There's a shelter under the lodge. You should be safe there for now. All right, all right. Good luck. Wait, why isn't she just coming along? Why aren't we going all three of us together? Safety in numbers, maybe? Although, if I were her, I would just... Oh, we're getting close. He should be right down this hall, I think. What was that? Oh, huh? he got out. What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got, we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. She's so cool. Sounds. That's a massive cellar they got.
The emperor, authority, paternity, structures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall and their empires with them. Let them bleed, let them rip each other apart, let them rot. Okay. Red means danger. Oh. Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. <laughs> Maybe it's the big guy. Bobby. Who's Bobby? I don't know. Oh, there's Jacob. Watch out. Oh god. We are much further away from the door suddenly. It's coming from a bed. Ooh, just shoot the werewolf in the cell. And then we'll find out who it is later. Jacob! Don't touch the fence. Ooh. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Shoot that werewolf while it's in the cage. No, don't open it. Nuh uh, no. Hey, bad idea. <laughs> they even put up a danger sign for you. Just in case they would have okay, any guests. You gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um. There's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Uh, <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. Hmm, you found out. No. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. Yep. No, 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 not my granddaughter, not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit, <laughs> not my little Kaylee, God damn you, what did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? I, I honestly, I want to see what happens. Who is it? Yes. Laura. Is that Nick? What have you done? It could be Nick, maybe, with the jeans. <sighs> Yeah, I'm sure. Hey! Let her go! Hey, Ma! Send Bobby down! Yeah, Bobby's the big boy. Big boy Bobby. Or is it not the boy with the... Oh, what's the word? Dungaree? That's what it is, right? This is this a chapter end? <laughs> Too bad I can't use the music. I, I'm so surprised that they did streamer mode, but then didn't realize that the music can still get claimed. Like, they didn't hire someone to make the music. So they don't actually legit own the music to distribute it. I think is what's going on. Oh, perfect. Welcome back. 
Did you miss me? So we went from a really long chapter to a Hopefully really short chapter. You've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? Mm hmm. The lovers. Three the cards? Lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. I wonder if that means that we need Blood to disagree between people heart. to get you a good result. Taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. Hmm. The wheel of fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch I think it's Nick closely. in the cell. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. This was the a weird emperor. one. Authority, paternity, it was all about the king. Designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. Is that maybe about the Details. family? Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. What should we go with? Carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Hmm. Maybe the Emperor one. Um... Although, yeah, we'll falter, why not? What's my fortune? Oh, the big guy. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Go. You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. So who died for me now? Probably Nick, if Nick is in the cell. I'm gonna leave it here. I hope everyone is not too frustrated about the choices, but again, like I said, I just wanna kinda like do whatever and then we'll do it right next time. We'll save everyone and get all the collectibles. So all in good time. I'm just having some fun with it. I'm actually also not looking at any YouTube comments for now until I finish my own playthrough just because I don't want to be spoiled or influenced in any way. I just want to go through it au naturel and whatever happens happens and the next time we'll really work on like getting everything proper, saving everyone, all the collectibles, etc. etc. But yeah, I hope you guys like it so far and I'll see you guys soon with more. Tomorrow? Last part? Question mark?